Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Today we are going to continue our lesson about qualitative elemental analysis. By the end of this video, you will be able to define mineralization method and describe the identification test for S, N, C, L, B, R, and I. The materials needed during this session are a pen and a notebook and the worksheet you are supplied with that includes the main ideas and terms mentioned in the video. Let's remember what we have talked about in the previous session. We said that pyrolysis is the decomposition upon burning in the absence of oxygen. The pyrolysis, besides being an evidence for the presence of C atoms in an organic compound, it is also an evidence for the presence of two other elements, hydrogen and oxygen, which combine to form water. Pyrolysis and incomplete combustion enable us to identify the presence of the element carbon in organic compounds. The combustion of ethyl alcohol identifies the presence of elements carbon and hydrogen. C is produced in the form of CO2 which is identified by clear lime water since it turns it turbid. According to the equation CO2 plus CaOH2 give CaCO3 plus H2O which is turbid lime water. H is produced in the form of H2O and it is identified by anhydrous copper sulfate salt which is white according to the equation 5H2O plus CuSO4 gives CuSO4 5H2O which has a blue color. But how can we identify elements other than carbon, hydrogen and oxygen in an organic compound? We use mineralization. During mineralization, different methods of elemental qualitative analysis allow the identification of the elements present in an organic compound such as nitrogen, N, sulfur, S, and the halogens Cl, Br, and I. The definition of mineralization is, it is a method that involves the conversion of the elements nitrogen, sulfur, bromine, chlorine, and iodine into inorganic compounds. They were found in organic compounds and now they are converted into inorganic compounds, ions, by the aid of hot molten sodium metal, which we call Lassine's test. Then they are identified by specific tests. How to prepare Lassine's test? Let's watch this video. Detection of elements La science test. Preparation of La science extract. We require a china dish, organic compound, funnel, tripod stand, wire gauze, distilled water, Bunsen burner, fusion tubes, test tube, sodium metal, small spatula and forceps. Take a small piece of sodium metal using the forceps. Place the sodium metal piece on the filter paper and dry it by pressing it with another filter paper. Take dry sodium using the forceps. Hold a fusion tube using the tongs and put the dry sodium in it. Heat the fusion tube slightly over the Bunsen burner so that the sodium melts to a shining globule. Take a pinch of organic compound using the spatula. Add the organic compound into the fusion tube. Replace the spatula. Heat the fusion tube over the Bunsen burner till it becomes red hot. Plunge the red hot tube into the china dish containing distilled water. The tube will break. Crush the tube with a glass rod. Repeat these processes two to three times and heat the contents of the china dish to boiling point for a few minutes. Stop heating when the volume of the liquid in the china dish is reduced to one third of its initial volume. Take a filter paper. Place the filter paper in the funnel which is fixed to a stand and filter the contents of the china dish through the funnel to a clean test tube placed under the funnel. 
the filtrate is called the science extract. Now we're going to see how is the element sulfur is detected in an organic compound by watching a video. After you watch the video, try to answer the following questions. Acetic acid, lead acetate solution, test tube, Lassine's extract, and droppers. Take a small amount of Lassine's extract using a dropper and pour it into a clean test tube. Using another dropper, take a small quantity of acetic acid. Add acetic acid into the test tube containing Lassine's extract. Take a small amount of lead acetate solution using another dropper. Add a few drops of lead acetate solution into the contents of the test tube. Sodium sulfide formed during the preparation of Lassine's extract reacts with lead acetate and forms a black precipitate of lead sulfide. Please pause the video and try to answer these questions. The first question was about the formula of the precipitate obtained. The obtained precipitate is lead sulfide of formula PBS. Since sulfur is converted into S2- and it combines with PB2 plus from lead acetate solution forming PBS. The equation of formation of this precipitate is Pb2 plus plus S2 minus Pb2 plus from lead acetate and S2 minus is the S2 minus ion, the sulfide ion which is converted from S in the organic compound to give PBS solid which has a black color as you have seen in the video. The formation of black precipitate and presence of Pb2 plus indicates the presence of which element in the, in the organic compound tested? It indicates the presence of the element sulfur in this organic compound. We can conclude that the element S is converted into S2- sulfide ion, which is identified by its action on a solution containing Pb2 plus ions. It forms a black precipitate, lead sulfide PBS. The formation of this precipitate identifies the presence of S in an organic compound. The equation of formation of lead sulfide is Pb2 plus plus S2 minus gives PBS. Now how can we identify the element nitrogen? Watch this video. Detection of nitrogen. We require freshly prepared ferrosulfate solution, ferrochloride solution, concentrated hydrochloric acid, test tube, Lassine's extract and droppers. Take a small amount of Lassine's extract using a dropper and pour it into a clean test tube. Using another dropper, take a small amount of freshly prepared ferrous sulfate solution. Pour ferrous sulfate solution into the test tube containing Lassine's extract and hold the test tube with the test tube holder. Heat the test tube over the Bunsen burner. The sodium cyanide formed during the preparation of Lassine's extracts is converted to sodium ferrocyanide on treating with ferrous sulfate. Place the test tube in the test tube rack. Take a small amount of ferric chloride solution using another dropper. Add ferric chloride solution into the contents of the test tube. Using another dropper, take a small amount of concentrated hydrochloric acid. Add concentrated hydrochloric acid into the contents of the test tube. On further treating with ferric chloride and concentrated hydrochloric acid, sodium ferrocyanide forms a Prussian blue complex ferric ferrocyanide. As you have seen in this video, this experiment was made by two steps. 
In the first step, we added Fe2 plus ions, and in the second step, we added Fe3 plus ions. We have to answer the following questions. Name the compound obtained from each step. Let's answer this question. In the first step, the element nitrogen is converted into cyanide ion Cn minus. This ion reacts with the solution containing Fe2 plus ions, which forms ferrocyanide ion FeCn6 4 minus. According to the equation, Fe2 plus plus 6 Cn minus gives FeCn6 4 minus. In the second step, this compound formed in the first step, which is ferrocyanide ion FeCn6 4 minus, reacts with a solution containing Fe3 plus ions. It forms a blue compound, which is ferrocyanide of Fe3 or ferric ferrocyanide, known as Prussian blue. Indicate the color of the precipitate obtained. It has a blue color. The third question, the formation of Prussian blue precipitate indicates the presence of which element in the organic compound tested? The formation of Prussian blue precipitate, Fe4, Fe, Cn6, 3 solid, indicates the presence of nitrogen in the organic compound. The formation of, uh, the equation of formation of ferric ferrocyanide or the Prussian blue is 4 Fe3 plus plus 3 Fe Cn6 4 minus gives Prussian blue which is Fe4 Fe Cn6 taken 3 solid this is Prussian blue now how can we detect the presence of halogens chlorine bromine and iodine let's watch this video detection of halogens silver nitrate test we require concentrated nitric acid silver nitrate solution ammonium hydroxide solution test tube lacines extract droppers take a small amount of lacines extract using a dropper and pour it into a clean test tube Using another dropper, take a small amount of concentrated nitric acid. Hold the test tube using a test tube holder and add concentrated nitric acid into the lacines extract. Boil the content of the test tube over the Bunsen burner for some time. Cool the contents of the test tube. Take a small amount of silver nitrate solution using another dropper. Add silver nitrate into the contents of the test tube. If the organic compound contains chlorine, the sodium chloride formed during the preparation of lacines extract reacts with the silver nitrate and forms a white precipitate of silver chloride. If the organic compound contains bromine, the sodium bromide formed during the preparation of lacines extract reacts with silver nitrate to form pale yellow precipitate of silver bromide. If the organic compound contains iodine, the sodium iodide formed during the preparation of lacines extract reacts with silver nitrate to form yellow precipitate of silver iodide. Now as you have seen in this video, to detect halogens, first we have to treat the organic compound with hot molten sodium metal then we add a solution of silver nitrate. If a white precipitate is formed, this indicates the presence of chlorine. If a deep yellow precipitate is formed, this indicates the, uh, the presence of iodine. While if a, white, uh, if a cream precipitate is formed, this indicates the presence of bromine. Write the equation of formation of the precipitate obtained by the action of Ag plus ions with Cl minus ions and indicate its color. As we have said, for Cl minus ions, a white precipitate silver chloride AgCl is formed, which blackens or tarnishes when exposed to light. The equation of the reaction is Ag plus plus Cl minus gives AgCl solid, which has a white, sil a white precipitate. Write the equation of formation of the precipitate obtained by the action of Ag plus ions with Br minus ions and indicate its color. 
for B R minus a cream color precipitate of silver bromide AgBr is formed. The equation of the reaction is Ag plus plus Br minus gives AgBr solid, which has the cream color precipitate. Write the equation of formation of the precipitate obtained by the action of Ag plus ions with I minus ions and indicate its color for I minus. A deep yellow precipitate silver iodide AgI is formed. The equation of the reaction is Ag plus plus I minus gives AgI solid which has a deep yellow press which has a deep yellow color. Conclude the halogen X is converted into a halide ion X minus as we said by the action of hot molten sodium metal, which is identified by the action of a solution of containing Ag plus ions like silver nitrate. It will form a halide precipitate AgX. Its color depends on the halide X minus. Let's sum up the ideas in this video. First, the mineralization is a method that involves the conversion of the elements nitrogen, sulfur, bromine, chlorine, and iodine into inorganic compounds ions with hot molten sodium metal Lassine's test, then they are identified by a specific test. The formation of black precipitate lead sulfide PBS indicates the presence of S in an organic compound. The formation of Prussian blue precipitate Fe4, FeC, and 6 free solid indicates the presence of nitrogen N in an organic compound. The formation of white precipitate AgCl, which blackens when exposed to sunlight, indicates the presence of chlorine in an organic compound. The formation of a cream color precipitate AgBr indicates the presence of bromine in an organic compound. The formation of deep yellow precipitate AgI indicates the presence of I in an organic compound. This video was prepared by teacher Rania Dhaini, recorded by Mr. Mustafa Tlais, and supervised by teacher Hiba Badabi. Thank you. Thank you.